Oh, what's up? It's your girl SA, and I'm back on another video. And today, I got a list of hood classic movies for you. These are some of my favorites. Let's get right into it. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and let's go. Hear me out. Crooklyn is definitely a hood movie. I don't care what anybody says. It's definitely a Spike Lee joint. It came out in 1994, but it really takes place in the 70s. It's one of those feel-good movies. I remember me and my cousins used to popping this tape in the VCR. It's one of my favorites. The soundtrack is off the hook. I will give this a 10 out of 10. Damn, y'all never got two things that match. Ham, no burger, peanut butter, no jelly, Kool-Aid, no sugar, and of course, Friday. Now, who does not love Friday? This movie is so quotable that I can damn near do the whole movie in my head. Out of the three Friday movies, the first one will always be my favorite. It's the most relatable to me, in my opinion. Ice Cube really put his foot in his bag when he really came up with this concept of this movie. You gotta love Friday and you always gotta appreciate Ice Cube. State Property. This movie came out in 2002. In my opinion, it does not get talked about enough. Jay-Z was in the movie for like three seconds, but that's no here or there. This movie will always be a hood classic. Beanie Siegel is funny as hell because he's serious but unserious at the same time. It's either you gonna get down or you gonna lay down. This movie is a classic. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 only because it really just made me giggle the whole time. 2001's Prison Song. This movie was always on BET. It's with Mary J. Blige and Q-Tip. I feel like this movie does not get talked about enough because it really just shows you what certain black families go through with kids being in the system, your mom being on drugs and her boyfriend going to jail, all the who shot John. But it really gives you a concept of what road to go down on. I hate to spoil the movie for you, but Q-Tip does die at the end of the movie. He tries to escape jail and everything, but it really doesn't work out like that. But his art is put into a museum. He's into photography and art. If I did not mention that before, it's a great watch and I'll give it a 10 out of 10. The Players Club. This movie came out in 1998. I got a lot to say, but I'm going to keep it short and cute. I got to say that fight scene had to be the best part of the movie and Bernie Mac being a comedy relief because if it was not for him, I would have never giggled as much as I did. I'm going to get it an 8 out of 10 because Diamond chose to work at the strip club. She was working at the shoe store, making decent money, but then she had to go to shake her ass and watch herself. Not on top of that, her mama decided to volunteer her house for her cousin who sleep with everybody man to come and live with her. Now, why did Diamond think that she was no different? R riddle me that, but there's no here or there. Ving Rhames held this whole movie. So did uh, Afri Woodart. But I really have to say, this movie was a shit. It came out in 2000. BET always had this on lock. I got the bike holiday. Like, I know that's not funny, but that line will always be iconic. I want my damn bike back. Like, you gotta go watch this movie because this movie is gonna take you through all the emotions. It's gonna always get a 10 out of 10 for me. Like I said, this man did holiday heart to doing baby boy iconic like iconic i don't care if he wore the dress or not he did the damn thing in this movie bet always had this movie on lock baby boy 2001 this movie will always be a classic every time i watch this movie i learn something from it it's about two hours long i really just realized that I can't picture Tupac playing this role because Tyrese does it so well that the fact that it's a comedy to me now is quite hilarious in my opinion. Like, And also Snoop Dogg being the protagonist like with his long, luxurious hair just flowing in the wind. Like, you gotta watch this movie if you ain't never seen it. You all, like the older I get, the more seasoned this movie gets. 1991's Boys in the Hood. Doughboy was definitely a victim to his circumstances. Look how his mama talked to him. And then she also treated Ricky way better than she did Doughboy. He was bound to fail from the beginning. And I'll have to say that even though Trey was away from his mom, his dad definitely told him the code of how to do things, the code of how to be a man. And you can tell that Ricky and Doughboy did not get that. And it's sad to say that at the end that they both died. But like I said, this movie was always going to get a 10 out of 10 for me because it's things that happen in real life. 1992's Juice was incredibly scary. Tupac embodied Bishop so bad to the point where you would have thought that he was Bishop in real life. But this movie is hands down a great film. It's going to get a 10 out of 10 because 
it was really a crime movie but it didn't turn into a thriller and then it just straight turned into a horror movie it really just shows you that everybody is not your friend you need to watch your back like the way that he hugged raheem's mother at the repast is beyond scary all right that pretty much concludes my list let me know if you want me to do a part two i appreciate you guys for watching make sure you like subscribe and comment and happy holidays